All right, so this morning I need, we need something. So these are Wii U. I'm a big fan of Wii U. If you ever played, um, I'm sure you have uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's so much better on Wii U with the with the with the handheld. So much better. It's like the best handheld yet. It's a Wii U one. I like it better than the Switch actually. But so, what did I sell? Oh, I sold this plate here. Yeah, I sold every single one. I probably sold twenty of these. I haven't sold anything really from the Wii U. A couple drives, a couple motherboards. But this one's broken. However, this one is not broken. Oh no, that was broken too. Oh no, it's not broken. It's just oh, that's that piece is broken. But I might have another piece like this. But I have one more here. So let's now the whole problem is where is my Wii U power adapter? But Power adapters are always my weakness. This is. Because in order to jump from one system to another, you need a power adapter. But luckily, I try to keep everything within the reach. Because if you see in my room, I've got stuff everywhere. So, I should be able to find the things I need when I need them. But it's never possible. But, this is just a quick test, that's really special. I'm just testing the power button, actually. So this has a special cable here. I sell these, I sold tons of those cables. Right there. So, and this is the Wii U. Let's use a disc in it. No disc. So I'm just testing the power button here. That goes and shuts off. Okay. Alright, so. Need to, all you really need is this, so this goes off pretty easy. It's just a little unlock under here that unlocks it. Takes that off, and then I need to screw for the other side. Came in. I usually pull stuff that I've ordered, depending on. You never know what's gonna come in, when, or it's so random. It's just usually there's two screws, one one screw missing on the other side. So, so we use a fun. I really, I really dig we use. I haven't really. Got a ton of them. I haven't really sold many stuff, much stuff off of them. But I have sold all these. So. Got some white ones too. Uh -oh. Normally there's two screws. But I only need one. I'm just selling this. But well, these I sell all the time. So the Wii U has the most screws in them. Wii's got a lot of screws, but the Wii U has got so many screws in them. To take one of these apart, you need to have like a serious screw map to figure it out. I normally don't put things back together, thank goodness I don't have to, but 
there's so many screws on this, so many parts to get this puppy apart. These are the ones out of the 32 gigabytes, as opposed to the white ones, which are eight. But I like the white shell better than the black shell. These always are got a million scratches on them. This one you have to have the drive board on like a Wii. A Wii you don't need, you can just swap drives. Japan, don't matter. American, don't matter. But these, you need the drive board. So it comes with the motherboard and the drive board. So it makes it more of a pain to take, to sell one of these motherboard sets. So they're a little more expensive. Because it's a complete teardown, including the drive. So this one here, I said this one was broken. So this is all I need, just this. I just need that. I'm gonna lose this because I sell those. This comes apart. I just pull it apart right here. So there's. Cause what I was gonna do. VGM220. Seems like it, maybe it works, but it probably don't. But I got it fairly decent. It arrived safely, which is always exciting. I, I live in Rhode Island, so I came from Massachusetts, so not too, too far. Guy packed it awesome for me. I appreciate that. I would never ship them out, not in a million years. At one time, I used to sell TVs. I used to buy truckloads, literally 24 foot truckload, truckloads of TVs to sell the parts in, inside of them. Once in a while I could fix one and I would sell a complete TV. And almost every time they broke. So, I would never buy a TV to have it shipped to me, ever. <laughs> Just some fun little facts there. In case you're thinking about buying a TV online, don't do it. <laughs> I'll never make it safe, and if it does, it'll still have an issue. Alright, so what I wanted to do, I was trying to see if I could salvage this one. There's a part in here. I'm just going to kind of look at it again. There's a board in here somewhere right there. So I just want to see. Let me just spray this one down. trying to do is make one more good one or I just sell the shell like this without the other pieces because for me it's always about trying to sell the next part that I can sell especially the popular stuff like these I sell these all the time so let's just see if I can make a better one because this one we decided um, this is broken on it right there but this one's all right they clean up brick. Nothing. But I always sell them as, you know, scratched because that's just how they are. Not too bad. I can I can use a little Brillo to get that other stuff off of there. Brillo's your friend. So let's see if we can just rebuild one of these. I hardly ever rebuild stuff. I'm always just taking it apart. I wanted to see while I was playing around with this. This is my last one, so that's the other reason. I don't have any more after this. I sold them all. So I'm just trying to see if I can make one more good one. Hmm. But it's kind of weird how it's in here. So it's like there's a button there. And once I once I tip it over, and then it's all going to fall out. So let me just see if we can make a little transfer here. Let's see if we can do that. This just comes off somehow. There's a slide door here. I don't know. 
And this might not be as easy as I was hoping it would be. I know there's a slide door here. I'm trying to see how that comes out. Huh. All my orders are done for the morning, so I can kind of take a little break here. I'm trying to understand what's going on. Seems like that just comes out right here. The slide thing. <clears throat> I can't quite see it. It looks like it pops over out here. Yeah? I think. Exactly what I did not want to do. Bummer. So I just kind of wasn't thinking. I was thinking, but I wasn't thinking. But I know this little one was here. I came off. <laughs> oh no, I just gotta get back together now. I don't know if anything else fell. I was paying attention, but then I wasn't. I was trying to get this door off. That's what I was trying to get off. Okay, so that comes definitely comes off. Looks like it goes back on here. Like that. Okay, and, but I did see something over what was this. I don't know where this just came from. Bummer. I'm not paying attention where it came from. Kind of looks like it fits there. Kind of looks like that. Like a little puzzle. Like a little puzzle sometimes. That's not quite what I'm seeing. It's close to it though. Here maybe? Huh. No. How are you going on there, little bugger? It's gotta be this piece right here. It's gotta lock in that. I think that's it. It's gotta lock that thing in there. In there. Somehow. Oh. Bummer. So let's see. I know I saw this was in there somehow. I don't know. It's the only one I got to work with here now. So I can't like... I don't remember how this went. <laughs> I don't know. Going in there somewhere like that. No, that's definitely not it. It's not metal, so I can't really see here. Yeah, that could be it. It's gonna go in one way, right? Or maybe this way. Or yours. I'm gonna play around with it because I can. Oh, maybe this one goes here. No, definitely not there. We determined that. This button, right? It amazes me that how these things are built. All these little buttons are made. It me. And the fact that someone has to sit here and do this a million times. You know, how many millions of these we use or make? Right? So I mean, somebody has to sit here and do the exact same thing a million times over. So I'm this piece and this piece right here. I think. That's gotta be a... So that goes in there. Right okay, now I'm seeing that little pointy thing goes in that way. This way. Oh, alright. So I see there's a point. So that's the LED light. On the other end. Okay. So that means there's a point here that's got to go in that little hole. Let's see if we can figure that out. So I'm seeing a point right there. No, that doesn't seem right. Maybe that's backwards. That edge has got to be the point that goes in there. It's got to be. Which way did I just have it now? Oh, maybe it goes this way. Oh, maybe I can't quite get my little finger in there. I have small fingers. In there. Ooh, I think I got it. So 
the first time I've ever rebuilt a Wii U front port. Oh, I believe that's the button button LED there. So that takes care of that. I know this goes this way. Right? Which is, that's got to go under there. Ooh, I might even lose have this now. So that takes care of that. But what I'm, what I'm down to is where this goes. That's gotta go there. This is gotta go. Huh. It's gotta go here. Anything that going? Ooh, oh, I think I got it. Oh, I think I got it. I believe that's it. That was difficult, but fun. Difficult. I never tried to rebuild one, so now I'm down to one broken piece, which is here. But it's better than this one, which, which had all broken right here and here. At least now I'm kind of alright. I may not be able to resell it, but I can at least use it. Right? In order to put the cable back on, you got to take that back off again. But I'm not worried about that. I just wanted to see if I could rebuild it. Because I have the technology here to do that. At least I think I do. I don't think anything else fell off it. But I'll find out in a minute. So that's how you put back together a Wii U. What's that? Front port. It's all the pieces to it. So imagine, like I said, that was your job just to sit here all day and do this. One at a time. Wow, that's, that fascinates me. Manufacturing fascinates me. And be perfect. Never make a mistake. And, and the screws never look like they were used. How could the screw not been used if it had to be screwed on there? Right? That I never understood. Every time I screw a screw in, you can see the marks on it. How does it get on there without ever having a mark on the head. There's little mysteries in life I don't understand. That's it. I think we're good. Alright, so let's see if I get it right now. So I got the buttons, the sink, which is here. Yep, that's in there. Screw. So we just rebuilt. I swapped it from this one that was really damaged. But I can sell this one as, as I said, yeah, keep it in there. And I made another one. Although I know I have another piece like this. This that's got a good hook on it. That's supposed to be a screw hole right there. And that one so. Alright, so it's my little small little project and it's the little cable and the screw. This is the one I really need right here.